Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the channel. Um, today is actually August 13, but it will not be August 13 by the time I post this video. Do you remember what we are set to do on this day? No? We are about to open this. That guy. We are about to do our month-long experiment where I vacuum sealed a batch of the Chiroso 89 Plus and I left another batch here outside just in its packaging and we are going to check if it's going to be the same or which one is better, right? So let's get our coffees and we'll start. Right, so we're gonna get this, um, this coffee right here. Put it here. Batch. Let's get the frozen. Let's get the frozen coffee. Okay, so we have two different coffees. This one is the frozen coffee. We vacuum sealed it a month ago and we've stored it inside the freezer for a month. And then this is the regular one. I've put it on that shelf right there and it stayed there for a month and let's open it. Okay, so this is the, the one that is left on the count uh, on the shelf this is 10 grams supposed to be 10 grams but oh that's right let's weigh it and let's see if there is a significant change in their weight all right so let's weigh this first Mmm, yeah, we lost 0.4 grams. Unfortunately, I don't have extra of this at the time that we started the experiment. So, yeah, we're left with 9.6. Right. Let's try the frozen one. Let's put it here so that I don't interchange it. Right. <clears throat> so this is the frozen one. Let's open it. Oh, so the frozen one is still 9.9. .9. We lost 0.1 only, 0.1 of a gram. Right, so we, we have obvious difference right there. Um, I'm gonna start grinding them so the frozen one is still cold so that I can see if there is a significant difference in the two of them. All right, we're gonna use a commandante for this. Um, we're gonna set it to 20 clicks. Okay. Let's start with the frozen one first. Did you notice that there was some resistance while I'm grinding it? So there are hard... Mmm, still very fragrant. Okay. Oh, and it... And it looks like it's... Uh, it, it looks like it is moist. 
yeah, it looks the same as if you did an RDT before grinding your grinder. Ah, before grinding your coffee. Yeah, it looks like that. So we're gonna grind the other one, the one we left out on the shelf. Whoa! This is significantly harder. Wow! I'm not kidding. It's not it's not hard that it's like it's brittle, but it's hard that it's like um I don't know how to say it. It's It's very sticky. Ooh. Wow, I never had that experience before. Never happened to me in the past. Even if I have really old beans. Oh. And this looks a lot a lot more like when you do an RDT. Yeah. It's less fragrant than the frozen one. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Right, so immediately the result of the one left out on the shelf is um, has bigger, bigger coffee grounds. bigger coffee grounds as compared to the frozen one. Right? Now for this um, for this quick brew, um, we're gonna use two different sets of soyren. So we have the soyren one and we have another soyren here. Oh, I need another scale. All right, good thing we have another scale. This is from Nuti. Um, you can buy it from Coffee Central. And then for the pouring technique, we're gonna do a simple two pour technique. So this is the technique that I normally use for my experiments. So we just do um, the first pour as the bloom, and then we pour up to the required water for a 1 is to 15 ratio. Right. Let me pour some water in this first okay again if you want to get yourself some soy rents you can contact um Cafe Kalakal on instagram or facebook and then they can they have they are the ones who are selling the soy ren for a really good price right there are other sellers, but Cafe Kalakal gives you a better deal. <laughs> okay, so let's put our coffees. Now, these are both um, 10 gram doses, but um, we lost 0.4 on the one that we left out on the shelf, and then we lost 0.1 on the one that we we we've put inside the freezer so they have a significant um, difference in weight but yes let's start so I have my waters um, set to 90 degrees and we're gonna do it right now Right, we have 30. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other one. All right, right off the bat, the one that came from the freezer, the frozen coffees, reacted more. 
So they have a little bit more gas left in them. While the other one that we left out on the shelf did not react at all. Right, so we are pouring up to 150 right now. Right, that is 150. And then we are pouring here up to 150 as well. Oh, there. There are some gases coming out now. Right. Okay, obviously the the one with the bigger grind sizes finished first. Because we have faster water draw down there. So this one finished at 125. And then the other finished at 141. Now we're gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna try the one that we left out on the shelf first. The color is a bit light. Okay, we're gonna use the R2. And then I'm gonna taste it. I can still sense the original Chirosa taste from that. Okay, now I'm gonna try this. Um, oh, we have 1.7 extraction on this one. So it was easier to extract. Put it down here. This one is 2.1. We are way beyond acceptable extraction, but it is so good. They both retain some original aspects of the coffee, like maybe 70% um, of the taste. But this one has more funk in it. Like the funky, funky Chiroso taste, like the funky Chiroso flavor is still here like a lot right but this one doesn't have it yeah this one only um tastes like wine and berries right and it's not very clear this one on the other hand yeah has very good clarity retained the winey aspect of the coffee and especially the funk the funk is really clear and berries also so um this could be an early conclusion but the frozen coffees are better yeah i might need to start freezing my coffee now yeah i think that's it for this experiment that we started a month ago if you have any inputs if you have any insights um regarding the frozen uh regarding vacuum freezing your coffee if i did anything wrong in the process please let me know i am open to your suggestions um yeah and this experiment um actually proved me wrong in conclusion it is really better to vacuum seal your coffee and then store them in a, inside the freezer they would be maybe 90% of what they used to be before you froze them. So I think that's the end of the video for now. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!